Today we're taking a look at Milwaukee's M12 cable stapler. I was excited when this came out because I'm an electrician, but there is some negatives about it. We're gonna go over that. We're gonna go over the pluses of it. I got this as the bare tool only. It was a little over $200. I'll put links in the description below on where I picked this up at. It's kind of heavy. It weighs a little over two pounds it's heavier than your normal hammer that you're used to swinging. So that that was kind of like a negative for, for me right there was the weight. So what about the staples? Can we use any ordinary staples in this stapler gun? And that's a downfall right there. No, you can't. You have to use the staples that are compatible with this unit and that is that come from Milwaukee. So this box of staples cost me around, I want to say about $16, a little over $16 for 600, which isn't too bad. You pull these sleeves out and they are 20 of them in a sleeve. Now this will hold up the two sleeves. To load this, we're gonna, there is a release button right here on the side. We're gonna release that, we're gonna slide that back, and then we're gonna load two of the staple We're gonna load two, two sets of those in there and we're gonna shut this. We're good to go. Now we have 40 staples in there. It always seems like whenever someone gets like a staple gun or a nail gun, they like to go crazy. And that's kind of one of the downfalls of the stapler because it's not, it's not really the stapler's fault. It's the person using the stapler's fault because they kind of get crazy with it. It's gonna increase your speed of stapling, but now remember, you can go as fast as you want, but sooner or later you're gonna make a mistake and it's it's gonna be bad because I, I've done it already because I've gotten, I got really used to using this and you just start going really fast and I ended up putting a hole through a wire, which that was probably like the one of the very few time that I've ever done that. And I probably in the last 20 years, I've done it probably twice with just swinging a hammer and putting a staple into a Romex wire. So the first day I used it, I did it twice with this gun because you get a little crazy with it. And if you don't have it at the right, right angle, you're gonna put a hole right through the wire and it's gonna be your fault, not anybody else's. Just saying, <laughs> because I've done it, a lot of cuss words. But anyways, I digress. So we have it loaded. We got an M12 battery. We put the M12 battery in. They say with a M12 battery, I don't know what size. I think it is a 2.0 battery, or maybe it's a 6.0 battery. You'll get about 1,600 staples out of that. Let me know in the comments below. I'm not gonna look it up right now, but I've used a 2.0 battery on this thing, and I've used it almost the whole day, and I, I didn't run out of battery, so. It has a nice little clip. I like this clip. You had the Milwaukee puts them on all their drills and stuff like that, but this clip comes in handy because I just clip it on the side of my belt and then I just go up. I don't have to wear my pouch. I don't have to swing, have a hammer with me. That's just, it's just a little bit like, it's one less thing I gotta worry about. All I gotta do is grab this. So the good thing is uh, that when we use this stapler is we can go a little bit faster. We're a little bit more efficient. But the downside is that this is a bulky stapler and so it is kind of hard to get into tight spots. If it, we have a 16 on center wall that you know we can easily get this in, that's fine, that's perfect. We have to do attic work, we have to run cables across the attic, we have to staple them down, that's awesome. This, this, this is where this ex excels. Tight areas, not good, not good at all. You're gonna end up shooting through a wire with this because you're gonna try to get into a tight spot. It's not gonna work. That's kind of like one of the main downfalls of this is it's hard to work in tight areas. This will accept up to 10 three wire. We can we can double stack 14 two, we can double stack 12 two, we can du double stack 12 three, same thing with 14 three, all the way up to 10 two, 10 three, we can't, it says on here, no, we cannot double stack 10-3, but you can double stack 
But wait, you're gonna be like, I don't run electrical. I run, you know, Cat5 lines, RG6 lines. You can use that for this too. Milwaukee states that you can use this for Cat5 and uh, RG6 situations. So your low voltage guys, you can definitely use this on. There is no adjustment on this. You can't adjust the depth of the staple. It's basically, you push the staples in and you put the battery in and that's it. There's no adjustments on here whatsoever. We have a little safety on here where we have to push this against the wood and then for this to shoot. If we hold the trigger like that, nothing shoots. We're gonna set this on here, on here. and this is a womanized piece of uh, two by six. So you're gonna, you're gonna kind of see the in-between of how this is going to staple because if we have just normal pine, this is just gonna staple right in there. But I wanted to have something that was a little bit denser just so it can kind of resist the staple. So it gives you more of an idea of if you are going, if you're gonna staple into like Douglas fir or even like old barn timbers, if you're, if you're in a barn, wiring up a barn or anything like that for people who are just kind of wondering about that. So we're gonna, we're gonna staple this 10 2 down. We're, now we're gonna push down and we have a little light that lights up. I like that because you can kind of see a little bit more what you're doing. And we're gonna line that up and we're gonna pull the trigger. Now, I don't know if you can see that. Now we're gonna, gonna zoom in here, but that's that's in there. It you get a little bit of you get a little play, and that's that's what we want. We don't we don't want this to like nail it down to where you can't move it because if we do that, it's going to pinch the wire. And especially with the new breakers out today, the arc fault breakers, uh, when a wire is under a little bit of pressure, it can trigger that arc fault breaker, and that could ruin your day later on when you are trimming out a house. We have two. 14 three wires, and we can easily staple these down, put a couple of staples in it, and they're not going anywhere. They're they staple it down really nice. If you worked with nail guns a lot, you're gonna learn to use two hands. You gotta, you gotta use one hand, it, sometimes you gotta hold the line up, uh, with your right hand, sometimes you get to hold it up with your left hand and you just got to kind of work with it. But I've learned that because I'm so used to just sw swinging a hand, taking a staple, swinging a hammer, I can get in there, tight spaces with my hammer and nail something. So like, like I said, this isn't going to do good in tight spots. I tried, tried in a spot about eight inches in between and I, that's one, one of the reasons why I shot through a wire is because it just, it doesn't work. So it can staple up to two sets of 10-2 wire. So this, this is really nice right here. We can staple that in. And right now, see, I shot through, I shot through and it just, it bent over the staple because it hit a little bit of the side of the knot on the wood. And that's one of the things you have to worry about is if you're shooting into a little bit more denser wood you're not this staple is not gonna not gonna get in there very good and you're gonna have end up having a bent staple i had to figure out okay what is this going to be good for if i'm going to be in a if i'm in a remodel where i'm not going to be doing long runs of poles and i don't have a lot of 16 inch bays then i'm not i'm not going to use that i'm just going to use my normal uh, hammer and staples. So this, like I said, this really excels in open areas and where you have the room to uh, get the tool in there. You have to line this up because sometimes like I've lined it up and if you kind of get at an angle, boom, if you get a little bit at an angle, you have to hit this dead on. And if you get a little bit of an angle, you, you get this that's gonna cost you money in the long run because now you have to repull that line if you haven't cut it at the other end already. Is it good, is it bad? I'm gonna let you guys decide for that on your own. For me, I'm gonna use it on certain certain jobs. I'm not gonna bring it, I'm not gonna use it on every single job because I'm not gonna tell you that. 
but I will use it on certain jobs and it's gonna help me out and it's, it's gonna be a time saver in the long run on certain jobs. So I'm gonna leave you with that. Let me know in the comments below on what you think about this cable stapler. I'm Philip Bridges. Subscribe if you're not subscribed and do so. I will see you guys on the next one. Peace out. <laughs>